Hey guys, the main objective of this video is to find the settlement in a layer, but before that we're going to have to find the saturated unit weight of clay, the initial effective stress, the change in effective stress due to a foundation, the final effective stress. We're then going to use this information to find the change in the void ratio, and then we can find the settlement. So let's look at the example we've been given. We've been given a foundation which looks like this. It's like an L shape, and we're interested at the settlement under the point O for this setup of layers. We've got a gravel layer with a water table with one, at one meter below the surface. And below that, we've got a clay layer, which is eight meters. <clears throat> so the first thing we need to do is find gamma saturated. Um, so let's do that. We know that gamma sat is equal to G plus E and one plus E outside of gamma W. So we have all this information. G is 2.7 plus the initial void ratio, which is 0.8, on top of 1 plus the initial void ratio outside of the saturated weight of water, which is 9.81. Uh, if we calculated this, we'd get 19.06 kilonewtons per meter cubed. Okay, so there is the saturated unit weight of clay. So we can then use this information to find the effective stress in the clay layer, we know that when we're doing these types of questions, we need to set the point we're interested in at the midpoint of the layer. So we're interested at a point A, which is four meters, because this subdivides the layer perfectly. So whenever we're doing settlement questions, we know we need to split the layer, and the distance we're interested in is the midpoint of the layer. So four meters is the midpoint of eight. So. We're now going to find the initial conditions. So pretend initially we didn't have this foundation. We want to know the stress, the effective stress at, at the point A below the surface, just due to the water table and the um, clay and gravel layer above it. So initially, we have a total stress. So we have one meter of dry gravel, and then we have three meters of saturated gravel, and then four meters of saturated clay.